Welcome back to Conarium. We've just escaped, or been saved from the submarine, whatever happened. And I guess we, like, bled half of our life's blood onto the ground. Let's continue. Oh, I tried to jump. Other expedition parties. Is there anyone who can read me? One person is dead, and two others have been injured by the partial ice cave collapse. There is something here with us. Do not come through our expedition route. I repeat, do not come through our expedition route. Yes, I read you. This is Frank. For God's sake, what happened? And please, tell me where I can find you. Frank, do not stray from your path. We have come across something... terrible. Do not come here through our expedition route, no matter what happens. It looks like this fiendish netherworld. Depends on some kind of energy. An energy that is stored in curious stoneworks similar to an obelisk with crystals on top. And they are able to clear away some of the strange plants. Dr. Faust? Dr. Faust? Oh, come on, not again! This is nonsense. I cannot understand what is going on. Do not stray from your path. Well, it's a pathway that goes up. Ooh. This stonework seems weak. Another secret? Side, flashlight on or off. With it on, the a the axe just like shines in my eyes so freaking bright. But with it off, it's kind of dark. Oop! Try to jump again. This wall seems weak. An ornamental object with a metallic part engraved within a sandstone rock, depicting an elder thing figure in the center. another mirror. Hmm. I want to try breaking it. 
Oh wait, I can't equip it anymore? The heck? Can I equip anything? Okay, now I can equip it. Does it disappear when I get near this thing? Oh, no. Yeah, that's odd. Maybe they didn't want you to try that or something. If I shine a light on this, I can probably get through the plants. These ivy-like plants are blocking the way. Light from where, though? Hmm. There's a series of these. I don't... They don't seem to have eyesight on each other, or line of sight, rather. But I'm thinking I might put down crystals that reflect to each other, and then end up taking the light all the way over here. Looks like something's missing here. So I think this might be my end goal. Maybe I should try going up that pathway I saw back at the beginning. Oh wait. That's also somewhere to go. Alright. Something hidden behind the head. Is that a Oh, I think it's just this this thing poking through. I thought maybe it's a secret. Are these constellations of some sort? Ooh. Hmm? Oh. Is it just those two settings? Yeah, looks like it. Looks like something's missing here. I wonder if I need to, like, break these. Nah, I can't hit it. Uh. 
as I predicted, a race, reptilian in physiology, lived inside these ruins after the original builders, the elder things, left the area after some unknown cataclysmic event, now lost in an archaic and lost chapter of Earth's history. This relief depicts some reptilian creatures treating an elder thing with reverence. And the other relief with four tall figures, I believe symbolizes empty vessels. Huh. Golems. We've seen the same vessel figures depicted as assuming different roles several times in most of the murals or reliefs we've come across so far. We saw the golems mentioned in one of the notes a while ago, too. I can't move it. The ice on the track is obstructing the movement. Doesn't hurt me, okay. They all lit up now? Seems far too easy, but perhaps. Oh, yeah, it's lit up. Ah, so it's repel the ivy just by being in proximity of it. It doesn't have to necessarily shine a super bright light directly at it. Ornamental object. Well, I guess I've got two places that I could put that, right? Aren't there two receptacles? We've got the thingy that moves, and then we have this thing over here. Take it back. Ah. Excuse me. This stonework seems weak. <laughs> seems like that's the one secret, like, mechanic. Weak walls all over the place.
A feathered mask I took from the head of one of the skeletons sitting silently in their eternal resting places. Signs of color that can be seen on the now solidified feathers make me think how flamboyant it might once have been. Okay, I'm getting a bit turned around here. Where the heck have I been and where have I not been? This whole area is a secret. Maybe it isn't all a secret, but it seems to continue on this way. This... Yeah, that doesn't look like a secret. I wonder if I should go all the way back and try to use that object that I placed in the thing and use it on the other place. Maybe the other place was a secret. Because this seems like where I'm supposed to go. The same set of symbols we've seen in strangely carved niches all around here matches with what is written in the oldest parchment. I believe uncertainly that they represent a destination towards somewhere significant. So this one has some symbols. Shows what some of these symbols represent. This one doesn't show any. Hmm. I'm... Do they always represent the same thing? So top left corner is that. Top left corner is something different. Hmm. I was thinking maybe you just kind of combine them all. Like, they all showed you which symbol each one meant, if you combine them all, but it looks like a certain position can represent a different symbol. Oh god, I can take it? Uh... I guess it's fine that I took it, if it let me. Can't seem to take any others. I guess I just need one. can't equip it either, so I can't just put it into any one of these empty slots. Huh. Okay, so this does indeed make me think that this thing back here might be a secret. Let's try putting it in the other thing. Oh. Oh, that goes there. All right then. Where's the handle? There it is. I tried placing the reddish crystal into the still clean tip of an odd metallic device and it fitted perfectly. As I rotated the device to its original position using the control handle, this glyph was projected onto the wall. So that glyph is important somehow. Hmm. A network of blue lines and dots appeared out of nowhere, resembling some sort of a star map. But why does that dot glow in a different color than the others? That was a secret? OK, 
Can't move it back now, so that's where it stays. I wonder if now I can do something with these over here. Like, maybe I need to look for that specific symbol and take it or something? Probably not, but I'm curious. Can't seem to take any of them. Nope. Okay, let's move on and see what's up ahead. Through the apparently not secret wall. Because I think that's where we need to go. Is that glass? something? Oh, good. Oh, oh, oh god, what was that all about? A, a vision, perhaps? Oh, I think somehow it has something to do with the intense headaches. Oh. Blood? These ivy-like plants are blocking the way. Ew. So how do I get through there? don't see anything that could hold a light. Not that I have one to give, anyway. Ah, here we go. So, this crystal that I put out there to make the vines go away, you don't have to put it in the holder. You can also just hold it yourself, and the vines will go away just by having it there. Also, it has a strange interaction with these things. Almost like they're charging it. So this should allow us to pass? All these gooey skeletons. Oh yeah, it's kind of reddish. Oh, I think maybe it ran out of charge. Uh, oh, 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 I'm dead. <laughs> okay, so it ran out of charge. Where's my save from? I hope it auto-saved.
space to start drawing a line. Or I could just drag it. So cool. Okay, so... Am I supposed to recreate this? Or... Um, I guess I can't see it here, but am I also maybe supposed to recreate the thing, the secret that I saw on the ceiling back there? I don't think it's actually marked in my journal, because I think the save is from before I found that secret, unfortunately. Okay, can I draw this? Um... Yes. Yeah. Alright, let's try that. So... Is it on a timer? Or does that mean I got that wrong? Oh, I think it means you got it wrong. Like if I connect the wrong one like this, it's like no. If I connect this one, it's like yeah. That's not right. Oh, I just, I think I just got it. So if you look at the drawing, I was getting the right shape, but if you look at the drawing, it's got a fatter part and then like a tapered off part, right? Like it's fat here, tapers off here. The direction you draw it in actually matters. So I was doing the main one right, you gotta start from here and you know zigzag down, but this one has to start from the bottom and go up. And this one starts from the top and goes down. There we go. Nice. It's a really cool little puzzle. I liked it. Well, I think that's a pretty good place to end this episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.